The recent Solana meme coin season minted thousands of new millionaires. People were turning hundreds of dollars into hundreds of thousands of dollars, and even some of my friends literally made millions over the last month or so trading Solana meme coins. But today, I sit here to present you what I believe could be the next rotation from the crazy Solana season that we've witnessed into this new ecosystem. And if we truly are early to this ecosystem, then there will be new opportunities for you to repeat the Solana playbook. Crypto is all about being early to the new trends, early to the new narratives. And that's something that I try and do on this channel to make sure that you're always early to the latest trends. So today I'm going to run you through this new ecosystem, show you the metrics, and then give you my step-by-step -step strategy to actually finding gems in this ecosystem. This is a playbook that has worked really well for me over the last few weeks and during Solana season over the last couple of months. So if you aren't already a subscriber of the channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below if you enjoy the daily crypto alpha and you want to be early to these narratives. Actually looking at the data, just over 50% of the people that watch these videos aren't even subscribed to the channel, but we're very, very close. So if you do watch these videos, but you aren't yet subscribed, click that subscribe button and that post notification bell and help me get over the 50% mark. It's been absolutely amazing to see the growth and the support on this channel over the past few months. It means the world to me and I'll continue to put my best effort forward every single day to make sure that you're equipped with the knowledge to smash this bull run because we all have a massive opportunity in this space and opportunities in this day and age are fleeting so we have to maximize them whilst we have them. So firstly, let's take a look at what happened on the Solana side because Solana's run up has been nothing short of extraordinary. This is something that we were able to capitalize on. I tweeted multiple times about getting my entries around $14, $15 and also trading the meme coins in the ecosystem. I you know, covered a lot of that on the channel as well, posted my full meme coin guide two months ago and obviously a lot of the meme coins since have exploded on Solana. So it's been absolutely amazing, but it's hard for me to sit here and say that you're early to Solana of meme coins, considering a lot of them have been getting Binance listings, Bybit listings, the dog with hat literally has a pledge to be on the Las Vegas sphere. It's getting a lot of mainstream attention. Like, okay, maybe in the scheme of things, it could technically be early versus the retail that are yet to come into the market. But as crypto natives, it's hard for me to sit here and say that you are early to Solana. So what I prefer to do at this stage, of course, I'm not fading Solana. I still think there, there are amazing opportunities in the ecosystem. But what I am doing is starting to shift some of my attention into these newer ecosystems and starting to position some of my capital in the ecosystems, which I think are reflecting signs of the early Solana meme coin days. So obviously you have candidates like Sui, Aptos, which have been doing well recently. You've got L1s like Phantom, which are, which are about to launch major upgrades, but I'm not focusing on any of them today because the evidence isn't there that there is a rotation. Today, I'm focusing on the one where there is clear evidence that there is a rotation, and that is base. That is Coinbase's layer two. This is where I'm seeing the most traction on the meme coin side, the most traction on the net inflows and liquidity flow side. And that's why we need to talk about it today, because I'm going to give you my Coinbase strategy to finding meme coin gems, finding altcoin gems on chain. So why is their attention shifting into base right now? Well, one of the primary catalysts has been the Denkun upgrade. This was an upgrade to Ethereum, which lowered the fees on L2s by an order of magnitude. It's what the entire EVM world has been waiting for to make prices more competitive on these layer twos versus Solana. Because to be honest, Solana has been the only viable option for meme coin trading. And that's why Solana has become the biggest meme coin casino in the world, because it's cheap and fast and it's filled that need for for a multitude of months, if not years now, which has enabled it to grow this big community. But finally, we do have some competition, at least on the gas fee side, with the layer twos. Base, as an example, was 31 cents per swap. Now, transactions are occurring around 0.0005. Now, we have seen some spikes and congestion on base, but generally speaking, taking an average of the last few weeks, the fees are a lot cheaper across all the layer twos than they were a few weeks ago. Like you can see here, they were consistently hovering around 40 cents to a dollar. Now, despite a couple days of spikes where there was a huge influx of new liquidity, which we'll touch on in a second, mostly the fees are sitting between 0.0005 and 0.004. So pretty much nothing for swaps. As I said, you still see these spikes and Solana 
actually right now is extremely congested. So we're seeing similar things happen over there. But generally speaking, layer twos are a lot cheaper now than they were before. Now, I mentioned there has been a capital rotation. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video and LARPing and making bold claims if I wasn't seeing the on-chain evidence, right? There is on-chain evidence, as you can see via the liquidity flows between chains, including Solana, that there has been a significant amount of flow starting to happen from Sol into some of these layer twos. Base, however, alongside Ethereum and Arbitrum has been the biggest beneficiary with $10 million being transferred over the last week. So we are starting to see some of these DGENs take their money and put it into other chains. Why? Well, because a lot of these Solana DGENs, they've made so much money. Literally, some of them have become millionaires from trading meme coins on Solana. They want a new playground. They're always looking for new early opportunities in new playgrounds to make money. And clearly, one of those opportunities is base. And and that's why we're starting to see the early signs of liquidity flow onto Coinbase. And alongside liquidity coming on, and that's evident via the increase in TVL, we can also see this evident via the spike in new users that is actually now starting to pour into Coinbase. So before I get into the ecosystem, I'll give you some altcoin picks. We'll talk about my strategy for finding meme coins, and I'll also talk about some airdrop opportunities. Firstly, let's recap on what base even is, because some of you won't be aware of what's actually being built on the base side and why there's actually a bit of a longer term play here as well as this short term liquidity rotation. So essentially, base is Coinbase's layer two network. So it offers a safe, low cost and developer friendly way to build on chain in the Ethereum ecosystem. It's technically a layer two built on the Optimism, so OP stack in collaboration with Optimism. So Optimism is an indirect beneficiary and Coinbase has actually stated that they're incubating base inside of Coinbase, leveraging the last decade of experience building crypto products and plan to progressively decentralize the chain over time. And if you actually look at Coinbase as a product, it's an absolute behemoth. They're the largest centralized exchange in the US, which is a 60 plus billion dollar company. They're the custodian for 90% of the US's Bitcoin spot ETFs, including major institutions like BlackRock. They're BlackRock and USDC, so Circle's preferred chain to use. And they also hold over $10 billion in assets. So when I look at the layer two landscape and just the landscape of chains in general, what is the number one issue that chains face, especially new chains? Well, it's users, right? You can have great tech, but without community, without users, you're not going to get the liquidity. You're not going to get the buzz and the traction and the hype on that chain, even if you've got amazing tech. And a lot of the time in crypto, it's not always about the tech. It's actually about the chain's ability to gain users because without users, no products on that chain are going to succeed. And this is where Coinbase and a few other chains in the market have distinct advantages. Because Coinbase has access to billions of dollars worth of capital, to millions of users that are trading crypto, it has an advantage because the base layer two is one of the official on-chain off-ramps from Coinbase. Actually, within the Coinbase app itself, there's a direct way for you to withdraw funds to the Coinbase chain. And obviously, since Coinbase is incubating and building base, as you can see here, they literally said that they're incubating it inside of Coinbase. There are a lot of initiatives, marketing initiatives, in-app support, etc., to actually get users across. So one of Coinbase's big interests is getting users onto this chain and they have access to users and they have access to liquidity. So it does put base in an interesting long-term position where it's set up to succeed versus other chains, maybe admittedly with better tech that don't have direct access to user flow, which is so important for a chain to succeed in crypto. Now, why would Coinbase do this? Well, it's actually a very smart strategy. A lot of centralized products launch decentralized products as a way to increase cash flow. Coinbase at the end of the day is a business. So one way that they can actually capitalize is via sequence of fees. So fees on chain, enabling them to earn income from swap fees, etc., that are occurring on chain. Binance did this with BNB. Coinbase is doing it with Base. Bybit did it with Mantle. They supported Mantle. Metamask did it with Linear to an extent. So a lot of these centralized entities have been creating these decentralized products as a way to bolster their income earning ability and also bolster their user base, right? Because there are a lot of people that don't use Coinbase. Maybe they're not in the US, but they will still use Base from all around the globe because Base has apps built upon it that are accessible in a decentralized manner. And that's one of the reasons they're going to decentralize this chain over time. So for that reason, I think Base 
And we'll get into the shorter term stuff. But I think base is very well positioned to actually succeed long term. And it does become one of the chains that I'm most interested in. But obviously that begs the question, well, if it's going to succeed, okay, let's just buy the base token. That, that's a good proxy, right? Well, they don't have a token. So it's not like Optimism or Arbitrum or ETH where you can buy the token and get direct exposure to the network. Here, you have to buy the ecosystem apps within the chain, spot the new gems within the chain in order to get access to that liquidity flow. So it becomes a riskier game. It also becomes a higher upside game. So in today's video, I'm going to try and give you the tools in the shorter term to position yourself and maximize uh, what is a current rotation and what actually could be a longer term rotation. So just to be clear, before I get into my strategies here, I think there is both a short term and a long term opportunity. Short term, there is definitely degeneracy that can take place and maybe make you a lot of money like on Solana, right? Especially with all these meme coins. But longer term, the leaders that emerge from their respective sectors, meme coins, gaming, inf DeFi infrastructure, etc. I think these protocols can really succeed. And I'll give you my opinion on whether I think there will actually be a base token. And if there is, how you could potentially get your hands on one as well later in the video. So let's get into all of this now. And we'll start with the meme coins because clearly that's the most interesting vertical on chain right now. And also the one that can give you access to the strongest gains. But before we get into all of that, I have a big announcement. This has been something that I've been working on for a while. And I'm very excited to announce it today. Uh, because there's been a lot of work behind the scenes and now I can finally talk about it, which I'm extremely excited about. So for a while, I've just been uploading on this channel and there's been a lot of demand for a Telegram, a Discord, like a place where my community can actually congregate and interact with me and interact with each other, etc. So I've been thinking of a way in recent times to introduce this to you give you access to some additional insights, exclusive trades, etc., in the best way possible. Now this started as just an idea. So I went around to a bunch of people in the industry that I really respect. So amazing traders, analysts, professional airdrop hunters, etc. And after weeks of discussions, what's ended up happening is actually really exciting. I believe that sitting here today, I've built what I would liken to the Avengers of crypto research. So I went out and I got the best macro analyst that I could find, the best lower time frame trader that I could find, the best altcoin researchers that I could find, as well as the best airdrop hunters that I could find alongside my own skills. And we're teaming up to launch an exclusive community. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek today of what I am launching. And the reason I'm mentioning it today is because when it comes to Coinbase Alpha, there'll probably be a lot of stuff posted in this group about Coinbase, meme coins that we're researching, etc. as the ecosystem develops. So it's built on Discord. It's comprised of multiple sections. I'm not going to reveal everything today, but we have trading setups, altcoin alpha, you may actually recognize some of the guys in here. We've got Fabian, who is an incredible macro analyst, as well as Altcoin Gem Hunter. We have Doc, who is an amazing high time frame trader. Paradise, who does swing setups. We have an airdrop hub for airdrop alpha. And of course, I have my own section where you can interact with me. I'll be posting my altcoin gems, etc., and institutional research. So you might be wondering, how do you get access? In the description, there is a link to a waiting list. Only a thousand people are going to get access to this group to begin with because I want to keep it a small community. I want to keep it exclusive. I've seen people go down the model of doing really big communities and it gets messy. It gets hard to manage, especially, you know, when you're talking about altcoins, etc. So I've decided to actually keep it more of a limited community, more of an exclusive community. And for that reason, we're going to cap it at a thousand people. So if you want access to 24 seven altcoin alpha, trading opportunities, airdrop opportunities, and all that fun stuff, as well as macro and institutional research, click the link in the description or the pinned comment and join the waiting list. It's probably going to fill up pretty quick. And I think everyone that joins will be pretty glad that they did in a couple months time. I'll just leave it at that for now. Let's get on with the rest of the video where we talk about now my base meme coin strategy. So I have a very unique strategy, but I must also give some credit to a fellow content creator, Carl Chasse, because he actually put me onto this website. I was using Dex tools, but I discovered this website through him called BirdEye. And it actually enables you to search for altcoin slash meme coin gems on base. Now, here's the thing to understand about the base meme coin ecosystem before I get into the strategy. There are a lot of rugs. Not all of these are high quality memes. Some of them are going to fail. The ecosystem's relatively nascent. So don't put all your money in these coins. This is high risk, high reward. You could lose all your money. The meme coin game in general is very risky. You could lose everything. So I just want to make that clear. 
Later in the video, I'll talk about some lower risk strategies involving free airdrops and higher cap coins in the ecosystem. But in terms of the low caps, I know there is demand for that. I know a lot of you are DGENs. So let's touch on this and what my strategy actually is. So there's a very cool method on BirdEye. If you go to birdeye.so, if you click on find gems, you can actually see all of the new altcoin gems slash meme coins, because most of them are meme coins that have launched on base. Now, what I like to do is I like to sort by trading volume and find the meme coins that are doing the most volume. If a token is consistently doing volume over a couple days, that is a good indicator that something is starting to build there. Now, there is a due diligence checklist that I go through when I'm finding meme coins. The first thing I look at is the number of holders. So you can copy the contact address of these coins, as you can see on the left, and on base scan, you can search it to see how many holders actually hold the token. If the holders are organically growing every day for a consistent period, this is a good sign that they're building an organic community. You don't want coins that get a bunch of holders on day one and then stagnate or actually drop in holders. That's a bad sign. So look for tokens that are consistently doing good volume, that are consistently building a community by looking at the number of holders and also the ones with enough liquidity. If they have super low liquidity, it's probably a very risky bet and it's probably best to avoid it unless you're an extremely experienced meme coin trader. But BirdEye is amazing for this because it enables you to basically find all of these memes. Now, there aren't that many memes in the ecosystem right now. There's Benji, there's Brett, there's DGen, Toshi, Poncho, etc. There are a few of them that look a little bit dodgy, so it's a very risky game when, when you're playing this meme coin game. But there are a couple that stand out to me. Let me give you two picks that stand out to me and at least past my initial due diligence. This doesn't mean that they're guaranteed to go up. They could go down 99%. It just means these are the ones that stood out when I did my own research on this. The first one is Toshi. This has actually been around for a while. It's one that I've been building a position in because they're essentially the face of base. At least the biggest meme coin, the leader of the meme coins on base. They have pretty much the biggest community that I've seen on base. They're one of the original memes from the early days. They've stuck around. They continue to post. They continue to support their community. And you guys know that when I trade crypto, I've spoken about this a lot in previous shows. I like to long the leaders. I like to go for the top coins that have cemented themselves in a niche. Now, okay, you're not getting this at a 5 to 10 mil market cap. Maybe there isn't 100 to a 500x here, right? But you can still do decent multiples buying in slightly higher in a more solidified project. You just have to decide what your risk profile is. For me, something like a Toshi in this market cap range of around 100 million fits my risk profile a little bit better. You might be way more risk on and want to go for the more degenerate stuff, but I can't speak to that too much. I've given you a strategy to identify that, but that requires you being super on the pulse with a lot of these coins. So that's one of them uh, that I do like. The other one that I like is Degen. So Degen started off as a meme coin, but now it's basically a proxy for the Farcaster ecosystem. So what they're doing is they're using this as essentially a reward token to reward people for posting content with Degen. So they have a point system which recognizes posts, comments, and basically enables you to get some utility from the chain. So DGEN is one that I'm looking at. Now, I must say, this one has just come on my radar. It looks interesting. I've spoken to a couple of people about it, and I'm taking a position in it as more of a risky play. I have more capital, for full disclosure, in Toshi, and generally speaking, I do prefer Toshi as the play here out of the two. But this was the other standout to me in the base ecosystem. But here's the thing. Some of the craziest gains won't just be in the things that you buy and hold, they're gonna be in the trades. And the strategy I gave you on BirdEye using the find gems button. So basically just to recap, you wanna click on base, click on find gems, sort by 24 hour volume, look at the hold account, look at the volume over time, look at the amount of trades, then do some more basic due diligence, go onto their Twitter, see if they've built a community. Is it a good meme? Is it a funny meme? Do they just launch? Look at the token distribution. On bubble maps, there's lots of stuff you can do. I might do a full video on doing due diligence on meme coins. But for today, that is the basic information you need. On DEX tools, you can also go onto base. You can look at the daily gainers. You can look at the hot pairs, Brett, base, normie, etc. All performing strongly. And you can also replicate a similar strategy here on DEX tools. So that is a way for you to find meme coins. But of course, there will be more that emerge and sorry to shamelessly plug my new exclusive community, but when that does launch, 
we're going to have a lot of these degen meme coin stuff in that group. Um, especially if it's lower cap, I feel more comfortable in a smaller, more exclusive environment than doing it on this YouTube channel. And when I say smaller cap, I mean things that are like sub 50 million in market cap, just because when you're creating these videos, you know, I might have an audience of 100,000 people on a video. It does introduce risks that, you know, weren't previously there when I was a smaller channel, when you talk about these lower caps. So that group will be a place for us to degen, have some fun, discuss some of these smaller caps and stuff in the chat. You can ask me questions, etc. Now let's get on to the second strategy on base, and that is the airdrops. So this is a way, if you don't have that much capital or you don't want to take on risk or both, this is a way for you to get exposure to the ecosystem for a lot cheaper than, you know, risking your own capital on trades. Now, because of the Denkun upgrade, the fees are much lower now on chain. So airdrop farming becomes a lot more attractive on these layer twos than it was before. Now, I have a very good strategy for airdrop farming on base. If you go onto DeFi Llama, click on airdrops and then filter by chain, untick them all by pressing clear and then click on base. Now you're going to get a list. This is alpha, by the way. I don't know why no one else uses this trick. Well, they do, but not many people are here talking about it. You can now scroll through every single protocol on base that doesn't have a token. Now you need to work out which protocols are planning on launching a token. So you can join their Discord, you can search their Twitter. A lot of the information is publicly available. If they have a points program, it's a great indicator that they will do an airdrop. Also, based on the type of protocol, that gives you a good insight as to whether they'll do an airdrop. But you can see here that a lot of these listings happen sparingly. So it's not like you're getting 50 listings a day. All you need to do is check this like once a week, just once a week, make it part of your routine. And I do this for multiple chains, by the way, go through DeFi Llama, look, okay, this might be interesting for an airdrop. This is as well, this isn't. And now I'm gonna add that to my airdrop list and I'm gonna research it further. It doesn't take much time. It's just about staying up to date. So DeFi Llama is something that you can pay attention to. Now I'm getting a lot of questions about whether there'll be a base token when I did my first base post on Twitter. <laughs> this is a hard one because the team has been saying that there's not going to be a token, but they have to say that, right? I have a feeling that there will be. I've got a feeling that obviously because it's connected to Coinbase, there is a lot of risk. Once they're decentralized to a point where they feel comfortable and maybe when there's more clarity around the regulatory landscape in the US, I think that doing a token makes sense. It allows for less fragmentation of liquidity. It enables native trading of the ERC-20 token, which is great for AMMs, liquidity pools. And it also enables governance, which, I mean, if they really want to effectively decentralize, governance is important. I mean, what are you going to do? Have Ethereum as governance? But Ethereum, I don't know if it's really suitable for governance considering it's the governance token of its own mainnet. And they aren't the Ethereum foundation. So I think it does actually make sense to have a token for so many reasons. The only reason it doesn't make sense to have a token is the SEC, Coinbase, risk, etc. But to me, I think eventually they will. And for that reason, any trading you're doing on chain, whether it's airdrop farming some of these other airdrops, whether it's trading these meme coins, that's all going to contribute to volume, transaction count, and bridging volume on chain, which probably are all going to be airdrop requirements when they do a token. Because if they do a token, they're going to want to do an airdrop. They're going to want to reward the people that were using the chain for a long time. Now, if you look at Arbitrum and their snapshot, they actually rewarded people that were early to Arbitrum. You're really early to base. So if, let's say, in two years, there is an airdrop, your wallet will probably be considered at this stage. So it's kind of a two birds, one stone scenario where you don't need to focus on airdrop farming on base. Just through organically interacting with the ecosystem, you're going to get some exposure. And by the way, I didn't answer the question of how to get funds on base. The best thing to do is use the official Coinbase bridge. You can look up Coinbase bridge. There's a bridge from mainnet to base. It's quite easy to use. You can also bridge from Coinbase directly. There are also bridge aggregators that you can use. So you will need, if your exchange doesn't accept base withdrawals, which a lot do now, you might need to withdraw to, you know, Arbitrum or Ethereum and then transfer across to base. That answers the question of how to get funds onto base. Obviously, if you're a Coinbase user, you'll have that direct way to withdraw out through the app. And that's one of the major selling points, I think, for Coinbase in general. Now, let's look at the ecosystem. So you've got the upcoming tokenless protocols, which you can farm. You've got the meme coins, which I've discussed. What about the ecosystem? What, what tokens are currently there? Well, let me run you through a few ones that interest me. You've got Aerodrome. These are the guys that actually forked Andre Cronier's code and they've been building on top of that. They're a central trading and liquidity marketplace on base. 
They're probably the biggest and most, you know, reputable and established uh, project. You've got a bunch of games. For some reason, a lot of games are launching on base. You've got Wagme Games, which looks like a pretty interesting game. You've got Parallels, which is the prime token, something that, that I've been talking about since I think 2 to $3, and it's now sitting over $20, $25. So this has been an amazing one, but they're also deploying on base. Oh, they also follow me. That's cool. Let me follow them back. There you go. Um, Marvia as well, a game that I'm super interested in. This is one that was on my gaming accumulation list. They're also deploying on base. You've got Contact as well and a bunch of other games. So although there are ecosystem exclusive tokens, there are a lot of other tokens which are going to deploy initiatives on base directly that are coming from other EVM ecosystems. And this is the benefit of having an EVM compatible chain. You can get those applications, you know, deploying on, on, on the chain over time um, pretty easily because they're all built on top of Solidity. So those are some of the tokens that I'm looking at, but there are going to be many more. You just have to be cognizant of the fact that if you're investing in, let's say, Mavia, it's not really a great base proxy. Like if you're bullish on base, you're better off going for like, you know, the top meme coins, the, the aerodrome type DeFi plays, airdrop farming, etc. Because Mavia is more going to give you exposure to gaming and not base directly. So you've always got to be aware of what proxy you're attaching yourself to when you're trying to gain exposure to a narrative. So I hope this video is helpful. I mean, the summary of it is pretty much look for new meme coins on chain using that strategy that I used. You can try and play the leading meme coins if you're bullish on the ecosystem. You can airdrop farm for free if you don't have as much liquidity. And you can also look at some of the new ecosystem applications launching. Of course, hopefully all of this transacting will help you get a base airdrop in the future. I will be sharing though, here on this channel and in the group where there's a link in the description, a lot of newer stuff. So I'll do more updates on the base ecosystem. I do upload every single day. So I'm going to keep you updated with this over time. Of course, it just naturally because Discord's a little bit easier for me to post in than making a YouTube video. A lot of that stuff might be first, but when I get around to making a YouTube video, of course, all my subscribers will also get access. I don't want, and this is something that I want to make clear um, about the product I've been speaking about. I don't want that to detract from the quality of the shows. I'm always going to give the guys that are free subscribers access to quality information every day. That's something I don't want to change. The group is a way for me to give additional information and put additional resources into hiring analysts, getting research reports, generating information and also, you know, speed of information versus YouTube. That's what the difference is. So I view it as an add-on to the Miles Deutscher brand and not as a subtraction from the brand. So if anything, if anything, the YouTube content will keep getting better because I will now have access and I already have over the last couple of weeks. That's probably why you've noticed Miles, your content's getting better, at least in my opinion, because now I have access to all this new research that I'm getting um, from the amazing experts that are working with me on this group. So just wanted to make that clear for the loyal fans of the show. Whether you do manage to get into that community or not, don't worry. I'm still going to have daily alpha for you here. And a lot of that information, I will find a way to incorporate into the shows. So hopefully that makes that clear. And yeah, lots of opportunities on base. It's been a pretty fun few days trading on it. Obviously, keep in mind that it's risky, especially when you're trading meme coins. So don't go too crazy, but wanted to give you a bit of alpha uh, on, on, on the weekend today. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. I will see you tomorrow on Monday for continued daily uploads to grind, but I'm absolutely loving it. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.